So, welcome along, everyone, to uh, episode two, the first proper episode. Uh, today I'm going to go through building yourself an engine from scratch, absolutely bare parts. Um, let's get on with it. Boost. Right, so, your first thing you're going to want to put in is your core plugs. Small little metal bits go in each of these holes. The idea being, um, if the engine should freeze through, they pop out. They're in pretty much every engine in existence. So, let's show you how to put these in. We'll also go with the oil gallery plugs. These are non-standard. Um, the, the standard ones are a bit like core plugs, as in they're a pressed piece of metal. These are aftermarket ones, which are actually solid aluminium uh, ones. Right, get yourself a tube of Hylomar Blue, or Blue Goo. It's a non-setting uh, gasket compound. Uh, this is perfect for this job. Now, first step, make sure the inside of the core plug holes are absolutely clean and smooth. Otherwise they won't seal properly. So apply a small amount uh, around the rim of the uh, core plug. I'll fast forward this, but uh, you want to let it set slightly before putting it in as well. Five minutes. Okay, now we want to place the plugs in the holes gently without getting the uh, blue goo everywhere. Now get yourself, in this case, a uh, 7 eighths socket and gently tap into the uh, hole. You'll want to do this until it's just past flush from the surface, uh, maybe a millimetre in on the, uh, the actual uh, edge, if you like. Let it set and repeat with the other four. Now we're going to move on to the oil gallery plugs. Obviously first make sure the oil gallery is absolutely clear as anything. Small amount of Hylomar again. Gently insert and tap in till flush. Don't tap too hard you will damage them. Next we'll insert the cam followers. These are standard items. You want to give them a uh, light coating of uh, cam lube as such and insert them. Once that's in we'll insert the cam itself. This is the Avon Bar Phase 2 turbo cam. Very very highly recommended. Um, you want to give the uh, cam shells a good uh, coating of the cam lube as well. Insert the cam very carefully making sure not to scratch anything. Just pull it through gently. It will go. If there's any resistance don't push it. And we're in. Simple as that. I'd highly recommend getting some decent assembly lube. Uh, this is full of zinc, perfect for the cams, all over the lobes. Now let's put in the main bearing shells. These support the crank itself. Make sure that the grooved ones go in the crank case. The ungrooved ones will go in the bearing caps. Place them in as so. Make sure the holes, of course, are in line with the holes in the crank case. There's pretty much no way they shouldn't be, but uh, you never know. The edges should also be absolutely flush with the edge of the uh, crank case. If they aren't, there's something odd. Uh, make sure the surfaces on both sides are absolutely clean. And now we'll put the shells in the caps. Same again. You really can't get it wrong. Make sure they're clinically clean. Gently slide them in. Really can't get it wrong. Now let's get the thrust bearings in. Let's go here and here. Let's smear a cam loop. Helps them to stick. Okay. 
copper side out. Right, now let's do the fun bit. Let's drop the crank in. So very carefully, and the right way round, drop it in, give it a twizzle. Perfect. This is obviously the cam uh, that came with this block, but uh, either way should be fine. Place on the main centre cap, making sure it's the right way round. bit of a tap and bolt it down right you need one of these gauges and center it zeroed Right, this is the end float. Right, now it's time for the main event, the pistons. Uh, these are 10cc dished Omegas. Uh, these are the cast ones, not the forged. I fitted them to standard rods. Check before you fit the rings that they're the right size for the bores. Carefully fit the big end shells into their new homes. Again, being sure that everything is absolutely clean. Right, now the messy bit, let's get some oil. Standard engine oil, this is 2050 mineral. You wanna work it properly into the rings. You want a damn good coating everywhere. This is more for uh, the initial startup than anything else. You wanna make sure the uh, gudgeon pin and the rings themselves are thoroughly lubed. You don't wanna go in dry. That's not good. Nope. Align the uh, piston ring gaps. I've got the uh, top ring and middle ring 180 off. Now I'll go in the ring compressor. And torque it down. Quite tight. Basically, as tight as you can uh, until the piston is just movable up and down with the tap. Slaughtering, being incredibly careful not to damage the bore. Obviously make sure it's aligned with the crank correctly. This is your one shot deal now. You've got to smack it in and keep going. Again, being incredibly careful not to do any damage to the crank. And in she goes. Repeat for the other three. 
Now we'll attach the big ends. Torque to the correct torque. Again, between each torque, always make sure the crank moves freely. And there you go. You'll need to measure the gap between the piston edge and the face of the block. This is for working out compression ratio later. I've also quickly put on the oil pump. This is a high capacity oil pump, particularly well suited to turbo applications.